Number 12, Notre Dame versus number 24, Navy. Heck of a matchup we've got here at noon Eastern time on Saturday, taking place in a neutral site, East Rutherford, New Jersey, home of the NFL's Giants and Jets. As of this recording, the Fighting Irish are double-digit favorites. I reckon that Navy is going to be a pretty public underdog in this spot, but the trends say to take the favorite. How should you be betting this top 25 matchup? Well, I'm about to let you know not only which side to take, but also how to bet the total. As a reminder, you can always comment down below and let me know if you agree with me. Also, do me a favor, smash that like button. Always appreciate the support for this free content we are providing here on Wager Talk TV. Okay, our handicap begins with the fact that Navy is 6-0 and straight up for the first time since 1979. That was before I was born. All six wins for the midshipmen have been by double digits. And the only one where they failed to cover the spread was the season opener where they were laying 31 and a half to an FCS team, Bucknell. Uh, that ended up being a 49 to 21 win. Navy is also 6-0 and to the over this season. They averaged 44.8 points per game. That is fourth most in the entire country. But guess what? I think all the streaks come to an end this Saturday at MetLife Stadium. Let's first talk about the spread, excluding the COVID season of 2020, which we all want to exclude. Uh, undefeated teams getting 10 or more points in their seventh game or later have gone just 2-20 and 20 straight up and 8-14 and 14 against the spread. My power ratings... They say this number should be north of two touchdowns. So definite value right now on Notre Dame, who is 29-2 straight up, as well as 21-10 ATS as a neutral site favorite, going all the way back to 1990, the days of Lou Holtz. I was born back then. Now, both of those straight-up losses since 1990 happened to come against Navy. The most recent was back in 2016. But the Fighting Irish are 11-1 straight up the last 12 head-to-head -head meetings with the midshipmen now. Not to mention their perfect 7-0 the last seven times they've closed as a double-digit favorite. So no doubt in my mind, guys, that Notre Dame is winning this one. I am showing value on the spread at the current number. So yes, I would lay it. I also think this game stays under the total. That total is currently 52.5, down from the opening number of 55. Still think there's value. Yes, Navy does have the fourth highest scoring offense in the country right now, but they have yet to face a defense the caliber of Notre Dame's. The Irish just so happens to be uh, that they're in the top five in the country in fewest points allowed, giving up an average of only 11.9 per game. Only one opponent, that would be Louisville, uh, has gone for more than 16 points this year against the Notre Dame defense. Here are Navy's six wins this season. I already mentioned FCS Bucknell in the opener. That's been followed by... Temple, Memphis, UAB, Air Force, and Charlotte. Only one of those teams, Memphis, has more than two wins thus far in 2024. And last week's 51-17 win over Charlotte, that was very misleading when you consider Navy was actually outgained 363 to 288. They finished plus five in turnovers uh, with two pick sixes. In addition to those two pick sixes, the midshipmen had five other touchdown drives that were 50 yards or shorter. Really fortunate in the turnover front in that one. Not that they, I'm saying they should have lost to Charlotte, but 51 to 17 was really not uh, an accurate representation of how that game uh, was played. Notre Dame, they still got a shot at the college football playoff, as you know, before the start of the season. I don't think anyone thought this was going to have the potential to be a top 25 win, but now it can be, and I expect the Irish to roll. Let's lay the 13, take under 52 and a half. Again, go ahead, smash that like button if you agree with me. Comment down below if you do not agree with me. Tell me why you don't agree. Also, feel free to let me know any other games you'll be betting on Saturday. Any questions you have for this one, I'd be happy to answer those as well. By the way, you won't want to miss what I've got going on this weekend in college football. In case you somehow hadn't heard, I am number one this season at Wager Talk in CFB. That includes a white hot 12 and 2. My last 14 releases, you can get the entire Saturday card for just $20, $29, pardon me, 29, not 20, 29 at wt.buzz slash bp. But before you head on over there, please make sure you're subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel. That's going to do it for my Notre Dame Navy preview. Until next time, let's cash some tickets.